Hello, all you space engineers out there. It's day 55 here in the frozen rock. And today, we want to get the medical bay done. And I think that shouldn't be too difficult. So let's get down here and take a look. Oh, I should have checked what I had for blocks and girders and whatnot. But let's get down here. Because last time we had finished up the kitchen and was pretty happy with that. And then we have also kind of got this cleared out. And so this area is going to be the uh, uh, medical bay. And so this is going to be a wall. Uh, this will be a wall right through here. Uh, probably go two blocks high just like on the other. And I've got to clear all of this out. So, uh, and then we can uh, kind of get uh, the medical equipment in here, get a, uh, uh, an actual regular medical bay and some of the other uh, medical equipment and get some of that set up in here. So we have a uh, official place to, res to respond should something happen, which it hasn't, but it's always that possibility. All right, so I think uh, I will get started working away, and as soon as I have an update for you, I'll uh, catch back up with you here in a little bit. Okay, just a little update uh, while I'm finishing up uh, the floor here. I got the first row of walls in, uh, and then I've got the floor done. So obviously, oh, I need more blocks. I thought I had enough. Uh, so I've got uh, this in. Uh, there's going to be a door here, and obviously a door coming in here. So this comes in from, uh, this is where the food production facility is. And then you kind of come in here, and you can come into the medical bay through here. You can also going to end up ultimately getting to the control room, which will be over here. Uh, so, uh, just kind of wanted to give you a little bit of an update. Uh, I still have to hollow more of this room out. Uh, I got to go up another another block high and then uh, put the ceiling blocks in. So basically two more blocks up uh, is what I have to do. And so I'll uh, end up laying out the scaffolding and then being able to get up there and start hollowing that out. All right, just thought I'd give you a little bit of an update. Once I get uh, closer to uh, putting the roof on and stuff like that, I'll give you another update. All right, just an update here. I have, uh, I'm just getting my ceiling rows in and this is where I'm at on it. Uh, I did get the doors in. Well, I at least got them placed. So let's go ahead and get these put in or see if I've got enough blocks I'm probably gonna have to go get get some more and then I've got to drill that out and put the ceiling in there but let's get uh, these in and I can then uh, show you or at least get a look at uh, where I am at with it now when I'm doing these since they are very hard to reach I, I put them in and then uh, weld them up and especially these corner blocks if you don't weld those up uh, and then you put blocks in around it you can't get to it to weld it so that's why I uh, make sure I always do those uh, before I put anything else around them and let's see here uh, I bet you we run out but that's okay and get that welded up this one in and let's get this one in over here and let's get uh, this one in I knew it I knew it I'm 16 uh, 
concrete block short. All right. Well, anyway, that's where we're at. So uh, next update, I should have the ceiling all in and some lights. I'll have this uh, drilled out and then uh, I'll uh, just be finishing up the, the doorways here. Uh, I got to frame those in. I kind of like what I did over on the other one uh, where I uh, kind of did the, the half blocks and framed that in around there. So just wanted to give you a bit of an update on where I was at. Uh, and that uh, the medical room is getting closer to being done. So uh, uh, once I get it uh, finished, then I can start furnishing it. All right, I'll catch back up with you all in just a little bit. All right, just to give you another update, I, uh, I've got my lighting in in here so I can see what the hell I'm doing. Uh, I've got uh, the ceiling blocks all in I just got to finish them up but as you can see I, I managed to put the lighting in it wasn't uh, yeah they were just off a little bit uh, six rows by five rows so I kind of offset them one on each side so I think that that uh, will look okay so what I have left to do is finish the uh, ceiling out and then uh, take out the scaffolding and then do the doors so let's see if we can get a little bit of the ceiling work done so yeah i uh uh am uh yeah i would have hoping to have had this season done already uh but it's turning out to be a little bit longer but we're getting close i think i get this bottom base built i get the uh uh, medical room done, the control room and server room done, and then we'll pretty much have this all done down below on what I wanted to get done down here, and then back up, and then we'll have to see if I got the ability to uh, make a ship that we can get to space on, and that's ultimately what I wanted to uh, accomplish on this particular season so uh, yeah so we're getting uh, closer and let me get these loaded up here all right concrete grab that so if I can get to space we'll call this a successful season and then I've got to figure out what I'm going to do for season two. I don't know if it's going to be a space engineers, another space engineers uh, season, or if it's going to be a different uh, game, maybe uh, Satisfactory or something like that. Uh, with this new laptop, I have the ability to be able to pretty much play any game that I want. And I know Satisfactory is kind of interesting. I've messed around in it a little bit, and it's kind of fun. Uh, I still will continue to do my mod Wednesday and uh, continue to, to look for mods. So, I don't know yet. Uh, that's what I'm trying to decide. Uh, if you guys are uh, uh, listening to this, throw me some ideas on what you think I should do next. Uh, but I will have a season two once I get uh, this one done. So, uh, all right. I'm going to keep uh, building away here. I uh, just wanted to give you an update, and once I finish getting uh, this uh, ceiling done and I'm ready to take out the scaffolding, I will uh, catch back up with you all, and then we'll start talking about uh, where I'm going to put uh, my uh, medical supplies and what I'm going to put in here. So, All right, see you in a bit. All right, I am just about to finish uh, this... Uh, the doors and then I can take out all of the scaffolding uh, Let's get this done And then we'll finish getting out the scaffolding taken out then we can start figuring out the layout. Let's get that that uh, The other thing I gotta do Is uh, Figure out or I know what I actually I don't have to figure it out. I just got to put it in 
And that is... I probably don't have any steel on me. Uh, of course not. Let me run up and get some steel. And then I'll show you what I need to do here on the doors. Uh, I want to build it similar to what I did in the uh, kitchen where I frame frame that uh, door in and I will do that on the uh, other door going in and out of the control room as well so I just need some steel plates and let's uh, get in here I should have so if we uh, grab uh, about uh, 20 of those, that should be enough to at least to get it framed in. And then you can kind of see what I'm talking about down here. Uh, and I need to get my blocks that I'm going to do. I might have that on one of my panels already. So we can uh, come in via the control room, actually, now that I got the scaffolding all out of there. Here we go. All right. Let's, uh, two, three. Yeah, here we go. I think it's these blocks here. Six. And I actually want to do those in yellow. So let's do that. Uh, I think... All right, uh, oh, it's probably this block's here. Yeah, I think it's this block. All right, so if we put that there, and then I have a side block, that can go there, and then I can put one on this side. All right, let's see if we can Ah, uh, there we go. Put that one there. And then I think it is this one. We'll go in right there. There. And not sure how much steel. Let's see if we can see how much of this we can weld up. get it all done and then I want to paint the door uh, let's uh, get this to rust there it is all right let's uh, paint this door yeah I think that looks okay all right so we've got that in now i've got to figure out what i want to put in here so let's let's go over here actually let's do this let's yeah we'll use this section here uh frostbite i think no uh industrial Uh, no. That's, uh, the wasteland. Or is it decorative? Decorative 2. Yeah, here we go. I want to put a lab equipment in there someplace. And a medical station. And... Uh, I don't know if a dispenser will look okay in there. I already got that down here. What if we are to medical, I want a regular medical bay, medical room. Now let's put that right, actually I probably will need a sink in here someplace. 
So, let's see. Oh, I'm going to have to go grab some aluminum plates. But I also want to look and see what colors I used over here. Yeah. Something to try to break it up a little bit. I don't know if I want to use blue or not. Maybe blue. I do need to go get some aluminum blocks. So, I tell you what, once I get the aluminum blocks and I get a couple of these things placed in there, I'll uh, catch back up with you all. Alright, well, I'm getting close uh, to having the uh, medical bay done. Uh, I've got a desk here. Uh, I've got uh, a medical station. And then, uh, like a, a couch where they can sit, and that kind of breaks it up coming into here. Uh, some containers and stuff over here. I got a lab equipment right here. A planter. Uh, a medical room. And then this is a O2 H2 generator up here. We'll see how that looks. Uh, once I get that built out, I think it'll look okay. Uh, once I get it built out, uh, a sink, and then obviously if somebody's reasonably sick, uh, then there's a bed for them to, uh, recover in. So, uh, yeah, so let me go ahead and finish getting these built out, and then, uh, I'll take a look at the colors again. And then uh, try to wrap this thing up. So I'll be back in just a little bit. Alright, I think I am just about done with the medical room here. So I have got a desk in here. A couch. The medical station. We've got some containers that has supplies. We've got the uh, lab equipment. I got a couple of LCDs above the uh, chemical station or the lab equipment and whatnot. A planter. Uh, I've got uh, a sink. Uh, I've got the uh, O2 generator up above. Uh, and then I got the medical station. And I happen to need uh, some hydrogen and energy so let's see if uh, how this works make sure I uh, yeah my uh, hydrogen filled up and so uh, that means it's pulling in from the O2 generator there so that's all set well I don't think there's anything more I wanted to get done today I wanted to get the medical room done and that's what we got done so next episode we will uh, get over here and start uh, building out the control station and the server room and once we get that done that will take care of everything down here in the lower base uh, which will uh, make me pretty happy so let's let's get some lights on here uh, we can go back into the medical room all right, so if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps out the video a lot. And uh, if you like the channel, please subscribe. That really helps the channel. And uh, with that, actually, all you space engineers out there, keep building away. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.